Hello friends, this is uh, Akul Mike Live and I am Chandrakant. And today we want to actually give you a, a business lesson. And uh, our guest is a very senior person. In fact, he is the global influencer and he has not told me anything. Uh, the whole idea is that uh, there is going to be a business lesson. There will be a live learning session today. I don't know what is coming my way. He is going to uh, uh tell me a problem which i need to solve it uh, along with him so this is exactly what we are going to do today before we start our discussion uh must remind you that there is a free giveaway from akul mac stick around in this show and we will tell you in the end how you can claim your free gift Welcome back friends and uh, let me also invite our guest today. His name is uh, Mr. Neville Gund and he's joining us from London. He is the chairman of MindFit Limited. So without further ado, let me present Mr. Neville to you. Good morning CK. Good morning everybody. Uh, it's a beautiful sunny day here in the UK and um, looking forward to an exciting day ahead. And what I've got for you today, CK, is um, a little bit of a game, a little bit of a challenge. Are you up for a challenge today? Absolutely, uh, Neval. In fact, uh, you mentioned about this sunny day in London, but uh, surprisingly, uh, we have uh, a cyclone hitting India and it's quite cloudy and quite windy and quite uh, comfortable today. So I'm up for any game that you throw at me. <laughs> jolly good jolly good well hopefully our listeners will have a bit of fun with this as well but there's a serious message about it at the end so stay tuned um because it's that serious message that i'm really want to focus on so ck what i'd like you to do is to bring up a whiteboard fantastic and we're going to test your capability now about drawing small circles. I'd like you to draw three small circles on the whiteboard. Well, that's a good one. Yeah, fill them in a little bit. Oh, never mind. Gone around the edges, not a problem. You're getting pretty good at this. This is good. Oh, yeah, even better. Oh, fantastic. Well done. And another one. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, well done. Well done, CK. Jolly good. Right. Okay. The next part of this is, and you don't need to use the whiteboard anymore. I want you to close your eyes. Okay. And when you open your eyes, I want you to explain to everybody, what do you see? Are you ready? Three, two, one, open your eyes. So what do you see? Well, I see a whiteboard, of course, and uh, three uh, different, uh, I mean, you asked me to draw circles, but these are uh, very different type of circles. I am not very good at it, but uh, three dots on the uh, whiteboard. Anything else? Yes, I also see that uh, there is a distance between these three circles, which are filled in with the same color as their outline. Okay, anything else? Uh, in the whole canvas, I uh, I see a lot of other elements, uh, but uh, uh, I see myself also in the screen. Okay. Well, that's good. I mean, I asked you to draw three dots, so you drew three little circles, which is really good. And you started to expand in the whole screen. But notice how your mindset and your focus was on the three dots. So that's what happens in life. You were focusing on the three dots. Look at the whiteboard that is there. How, how much space do those three dots occupy? 1%? Uh, less than a percent, I think, of the whiteboard. Uh, less than 1%. Yeah, so 99% of what you were explaining to me is white. And that's where they were. That's, that's life. That's where we are focusing on. But you didn't focus on that. You just focused on the bits around the whiteboard. And this is what's true. This is what's really true in life. 
we just focus on these three. You even said there was um, a similar distance between the dots. Now, you've imagined it. I mean, you've drawn it. We could have gone into this conversation in depth and I could have said, so uh, do, do, it, do any of those dots look like they're in the middle? You know, why have they got about the same distance between them? So we're just going to be focused on those three little circles. And yet, there's a huge world out there. 99% of that, of that whiteboard is white space, and you didn't focus on it. Now, uh, that's right, uh, Neville. In fact, uh, I was uh, absolutely focused on uh, the problem that you want to uh, throw at me. So I was more concerned concerned about you know what is coming my way. But it's interesting, is because I didn't throw a problem at you. I just said to draw three circles. There was no problem. And the interesting thing is you used your imagination and you were imagining a problem. And that's what we do in life. So here's the message to everybody today. And it's a very simple message. And this is why things don't work out as we expect them to do. Because we focus on the minute pieces. We focus on the nitty gritty. And we don't actually take a step back and look at the big picture. There's nothing wrong in focusing on the nitty-gritty all the time when you're really focused. But what is wrong is when you don't put it in context. Because if you're always focused down at the lowest level, you never actually take a step back and say, does that look right? Does that feel right? Am I still on the same wavelength? Have I got the strategy right? Does that make sense? Uh, yes, uh, Neville, I think the lesson that I have learned today is uh, look at the bigger picture, not look at the uh, the problem at hand. Uh, but, you know, we are all humans and uh, you preconditioned <laughs> my mind. Uh, you, you said that you're going to throw some problem at me. So I was waiting for the problem. But I think uh, the lesson learned uh, pretty well uh, that you have to look at the bigger picture. And even in the corporate world, okay, this is why change actually doesn't take place. This is why 80% on average of change programs, digital transformation, the, the two words that have been put together over the last 14 months because of COVID, um, where people are looking for digital transformation, they're looking for instant results. And this is what happens they focus on one dot or three dots, doesn't matter how many dots, frankly, but they miss the bigger picture. And let's, let's just, I'm, I'm just going to ask you a question here. So this isn't a game. This is reality. When you look at digital transformation in an organization, what's the digital transformation aiming to do? I think uh, it's a fairly simple question if you ask me. Uh, the digital transformation uh, is uh, aiming to do is increase the revenue. Uh, and that is the aim of uh, every company whenever they talk about digital transformation. But I think the real question that, uh, that needs to be answered is, are we actually embracing the digital transformation in real sense? But I, th I think that they are not. Almost 80% of the organizations are not really uh, following digital transformation at all and uh, they are waiting for good times yeah you're absolutely right and the reason they they're not following digital transformation is the chief exec says that, oh this is digital it must be it so it's the it's responsibility so it ends up being the cio when in actual reality is it should never actually leave the ceo's desk the CEO should be responsible for that digital transformation. Because as you quite rightly say, you know, let's not bear, bear any bones here. You know, let's not put too much fat on it. The fact of life is the digital transformation is to increase revenue. That's the bottom line here. It's actually to be more focused, more revenue generating, less cost focused. But where's the revenue going to come from? Well, uh, from my point of view, uh, Neville, uh, the answer is very simple. If we are actually on the digital platform, the revenue has to come from digital mediums. It cannot be a physical medium. So we have to have digital transformation done from end to end, from delivery 
to collecting payments. Yeah, you're absolutely. But who's going to pay for it? So the people who are in the digital space, uh, they will they will pay for it. So we have to find customers. new customers. Customers, customers. And the bottom line is, this is, you know, business 101, as you quite rightly said. The whole purpose of digital transformation is to be more efficient, more effective, and to generate more revenue. Even with a not-for-profit organization, that's one of the reasons you should be doing digital transformation. And fundamentally, it's generating more revenue from customers. So, the, the other message for today is those three circles on that page, okay? One of them, make sure one of them is a customer and actually make sure it's so big, it actually not just fills out less than 1% of the page, but it fills up 99% of the page. Because if you don't focus on your customers, your revenue stream will disappear. So, CK, a little problem today, a little problem solving Huge issue. Don't focus on the detail. Always look at the bigger picture. And the other thing is customer's king. Not a bad little lesson for a Tuesday morning, the bright sunshine here, and you're expecting the cyclone. Uh, absolutely, uh, Naval. In fact, thank you so much for giving such a positive message. Uh, and I'm sure, uh, I think the viewers uh, must get it. They must uh, understand what is the real message the crux of the whole thing so thank you so much for co uh, coming and joining us we'll catch up tomorrow again in something more interesting my pleasure have a good day everybody bye bye we have some unique akul mac memorabilia which will make you look outstanding the graphics on these corporate gifts are based on the global best business practices to become recipient of one of these gifts for free you have to watch this video till the end and provide your valuable comments or you can also share your experiences. The person who makes the best comment would be chosen to become a recipient of this beautiful Akulmac gift absolutely free delivered to your doorsteps. The winner would also get a chance to be invited live as a distinguished panelist during our next video. What are you waiting for friends? Please subscribe Akulmac and smash that like button.